Introduction to doors. This is a fresh introduction to different types of doors that we have available online. There are lots of doors online that you can actually check up. Many types of door. You have your Reaper. You have, you have your Cubase. That's your stem bag. You have your Pro Tools. That's your Avid. You have Propeller Head. That's your Reason. You have, um, you have Logic Pro. You have Presonus Studio One. That's for Studio One. You know, there are a lot, lot of doors that we like, like to treat. But I'll be taking them one after the other. If for somebody like me, I've used different types of doors. I've used Cubase. I've used... I started using Cubase for about um, for back as, more than 20 years ago. Then, uh, you know, when I dabbled on Cubase. Then after that, I used um, so, uh, so, uh, Suna, Kickwalk. It's, it actually started from Kickwalk. Kickwalk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till 9, I guess. Then later, the 22... Sona, Sona 1, Sona 2, Sona 3, Sona 4, Sona 5, continuously. Then later they turn it to Sona X1, X2, X, and all that, you know, that's your cakewalk. Then, of course, um, there's this Cubase. You know, those days, um, we used to, there's one call actually called Cubase, Cubase, Cubase VST, Cubase, is, Cubase VST. Um, there's Cubase VST 32. Then they, later they moved to Cubase SX, SX1, SX2, SX3. Uh, later, they moved to um, Cubase. You know, there are a lot of Cubase. Later, they, they introduced Nuendo. I love those people anyway. They actually changed um, the, uh, the audio music world. Then they, later, we started seeing um, Pro Tools. We started seeing Logic Pro. We started seeing, um, you know, all that. All that. But some, for somebody like me, I've tested most of this Reaper. Uh, Reaper, I've tested Logic Pro, Cubase, Sona, Propeller Head, your reasons. I've tested all of the softwares. I've come into conclusion to let you know that the method, the way, the, your skill in handling those doors will determine your output. And of course, um, those two has a major role that they play in, in, your, in your life, especially in your music life. Um, for example, for somebody like me that I've used, my opinion, that I've used different types of doors, I can categorically tell you that um, produce is, is a very nice um, uh, body that you can actually try. Um, give it a try. It's, one, it, it's, one, it's still one of the best of the best in the world today. They've been on the top notch. That's why they are expensive. And of course, there's Logic Pro. Logic Pro 2 is not bad. Uh, and then your Cubase 2 is not bad. Your Sona, your Reaper, and of course, your Fruity Loops. Those days, if I could remember when we started using Fruity Loops, it came, it came as a loop. Not for beat, uh, not for uh, proper music production. People are already using it for proper music production now, but they actually came as a loop. Then, you know, um, it was it was sounding nice. If we, for example, I'm talking of when we used to record with um, the with the Atari. I'm talking of when we used to record with um, the, with the something called um, Tascam D88. Tascam. There's something called um, this uh, reel to reel. Though I started recording. Uh, for back at 1999, professionally, you know, um, but I can tell you, I actually started with um, what do you call this? They, there's, um, there's a particular one. I've forgotten. I've actually forgotten, but I can tell you, I still remember how I recorded with um, that that machine. You know, uh, it makes a lot of sense. I, as far back as 1999. Uh, especially here in Nigeria, there's nothing like um, screens. There's no computers. Of course, there are computers then, but uh, in doing proper music production, you barely see people that has computers. Unlike now that everybody has computers. I have a lot of computers in my house. My kids even have theirs. So it's a free world now. Um, this is when music has now changed. Computers have come into existence into the music audio world. It makes it more easier, makes it more flexible for people. Now you can see all your waves that you're recording on screen. Before, no wave. My brother, when you did record, you could just see numbers. Numbers will be flying. Different types of numbers. So sometimes I memorize some numbers. Stop. You try to memorize the numbers down. So for you to identify the place where the artist made mistake. You know, uh, that's then. But now, of course, computer, is, computer has made everything easier. You can easily see all those things on screen. Even the way, the way the waves are, you can, you know, identify that there's a mistake here. 
Uh, like I said, it's it's fine. That's innovation. That's, that's for the doors. Peace.